Today is the official start of summer. It's the summer solstice, the longest day of the year, and just a big day for the sun in general. Joining me now is NASA astrophysicist, Dr. Alex Young. Dr. Young, what, what is going on with our star that makes this day so special exactly? Well, I mean, the solstice is great because uh, this is a special time. Actually, it happens twice a year around the 21st in June and December. And this is when, because of the Earth's tilt for the Northern Hemisphere, we're pointed uh, closest to the sun, giving us the beginning of summer and the longest day of the year. And, you know, this is a great kickoff for an exciting time. There's an exciting time to be talking about the sun NASA is kicking off what we call the heliophysics big year. And the perfect opportunity to start that are two upcoming solar eclipses, both of which are touching Texas. The first one, October 13th of this year, starting in Oregon and ending in Texas is an annular eclipse. And in this case, the moon is a little bit smaller than the sun in the sky, so it doesn't completely block it out and gives us this ring. But even more exciting is April 8th, 2024, when we have a total solar eclipse. And if you're in that path of totality, which you know near Austin is a great location, you can see with your own eyes safely for that brief period, the outer atmosphere of the sun called the corona which is uh, exciting because this is where all the, the action is happening on the sun. What do you guys do during those eclipses to do some research? What's kind of the plan at those times? During the annular eclipse, we don't have as much science, but there still is a significant change in the light that's coming off the sun. And that light influences the upper atmosphere called the ionosphere. And the ionosphere is very important for uh, using for radio transmissions, both you know through the ionosphere and bouncing off the ionosphere. But the better time and the more exciting time is the, the April 8th, 2024, because not only do we get an opportunity to see this outer atmosphere where all that space weather is uh, originating, the corona, but we can also see the impact on our atmosphere, the impact on the amount of light that reaches us. And it's also an opportunity for citizen scientists, you know, for the public to go out and enjoy and appreciate uh, this really amazing natural phenomena. I know a ton of people are excited here, especially. We're, we're getting jazzed up for sure. Dr. Young, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. It's been my pleasure. Thank you.